Morning, folks. Joe here at The View. Um, first things first, apologies about the lateness of this and apologies that it's a live stream as well. Um, I recorded this twice this morning and this thing is giving me major problems. <laughs> major, major problems. Um, so I'll just do this live and get it out of the way. Um, real quick, just on a quick look in the comments. I'm not going to do comments today, but just to answer a question on Max Vober, um, potentially dislocated shoulder, looking at three to four weeks, potentially. Potentially depends on his assessment. Anyway, um, first things first, massive thanks to everyone that supported the channel yesterday. We saw a huge growth in the channel. We also saw um, a, a big bump in our in our views as well. So just a massive thanks to everyone that supports the channel. I'm re I really am humbled and, and grateful for for everybody who watches the streams i've also had too much coffee so i'm going to try and slow down talking i know i talk too quick anyway so anyway um let's crack on we're going to start off we're going to talk about the javi garcia work permit situation we're going to talk about the new additions to the backroom team we're also going to talk about rodrigo's injury the leeds ladies result as well as some detail on the 49ers involvement in garcia's appointment and the 49ers takeover which um i'll get to that at the end we'll get to that at the end let's, let's just start off and crack on. So, Javi Garcia update. So, first things first on his backroom team is Zigor Arnalde looks like he will join Garcia's back Garcia's backroom team as the assistant manager. And um, Juan Solo is also expected to join the team. Arnalde has a track record of working with Garcia in the past. Solo has nearly as the name Solo um Sola uh, has a history of working exclusively with Garcia. So, um. That's nice, nice to see it. There is an oddity in this. There's a new name in the hat that Garcia hasn't worked with in the past, and that is Mikhail Anita. Um, he has played with Garcia in the past in Spain, but hasn't actually worked with him. But Anita was part of Rafa Benitez's backroom team at Newcastle and was a defender as a player. So nice to see some defensive coaches coming in there as well. Badly needed. Badly, badly needed. Uh, he's highly rated Anita, so that's all really, really good news. Um, Han Solo, yes. Um, moving on, it's so Juan Sola. Juan Sola, because somebody will correct me at half six tonight. You know, after doing all the research on Wikipedia, they'll, they'll tell me I'm wrong. So that's okay. All right. So it's okay. Uh, moving on, let's talk about his work permit situation. So Leeds Live put out an article yesterday evening saying that there was issues with the work permit and this would cause problems. Um, I find Leeds Live outside of Baron Cross's stuff, I find Leeds Live pretty clickbaity most of the time. And what they've said in the article is it may be an issue. It possibly is an issue. Nothing definitive. So we've had a little look. The Athletic have done some work on this as well. And let's go through the criteria. The basics of this are there is no significant issue with his work permit application. That's the first thing and the most important bit to get off, get off the get off the table straight away. And um, all, all of this comes from post-Brexit regulations that have come in. Basically, any country within the EU have what they call free movement of people and free movement of work around the European Union. Obviously, the UK left the European Union, so that no longer applies. So you're viewed as a non-resident coming into the country. Therefore, work permit is needed. Now, to get a work permit, you do have to tick off certain criteria. You can't just come in and get a job. That's, you know, that's how you police it. So the first, first bit was, and the questions around this are, first question is, on the manager, the manager must have overall responsibility for the first team. Garcia will do that. That's very clear. Box ticked. Good job. Second one is the manager must hold a UEFA Pro license. Garcia does or an equivalent. Box checked. Good stuff. And then the other one is uh, the manager must be filling an already vacant role. And as Jesse Marsh left a couple of weeks ago, this role is vacant. Therefore, that box is checked. All good. OK, the sticking point, however, is in the amount of time and experience he has in a top league. So 36 months of experience in the top league in the last five years. I think he's in around 27 months in the last five years. So that's the sticking point. But there's an FA uh, exceptions panel that is put together to help with these. But they can only recommend whether a work permit should be granted. Not They can't actually give one. But basically what they will look for is, is the manager of the highest caliber and can contribute to the game in the United Kingdom. Now, what the Dedek have said is, it is clear that he does check this box of having worked in England in the past, and obviously Watford an FA Cup final, and a good track record in the Premier League. So he does check that box. That's important. But there's a, you know, the, the couple of months and the difference is a sticking point. So it's not squeaky clean. Now, what they've also said is, this is not a case of if Garcia gets a work permit. This is a case of when Garcia gets a work permit. So it's not a case of, he won't get one. He will get one. It's just a matter of when. Now, the, the other point with this as well is that he can't take training. Now, I don't know how active the home office are with um, having cameras and spying on people around the grounds, but 
doesn't stop him from talking to people. It doesn't stop him from doing video analysis. It doesn't talk, stop him from giving coaches what he wants them to do in the training ground. He can still give Scubala stuff that he wants done his way. So there will still be an influence on this. He might not do the Southampton press conference, but you, I would be surprised if you don't see a difference in the, the shape of the team the lineup based on the fact that he will have some input into this. And, you know, he might not be in the middle of the training ground, but he can still create the training, give it to people. And, you know, I'm not working here. I'm just in a hotel. You know, there's lots of things that can be done. There's lots of ways around this. So, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, moving on, let's talk about uh, Leeds and Everton have both been charged uh, over a little scuffle last week. Um, been charged by the FA with a failure to conduct, control their players, to conduct their players correctly. Uh, they have until Monday to answer the charge. The interesting bit in this was Weston McKenney got involved with it and also picked up a yellow card in that incident. Weston McKenney's picked up three yellow cards in the last four games um, and he needs to be careful as to not walk himself into a suspension. That's something we need to we can't afford to lose players at this point you know he needs to tidy it up stop getting involved in everyone else's scuffles and just get out of the way and worry about himself for a little bit so that's that uh, update on rodrigo so rodrigo has been speaking a lot this week about uh, everything about the club the new manager coming in and his injury and basically what he said was that the the initial time frame for his injury was to come back after the international break and it looks now like he has said that he would back before the international break which puts him slightly ahead of schedule which is great to see him good news um need him back we do need him back so okay that's that one box checked move on cool leads ladies they lost three two last night or yesterday to uh the stockport county ladies um three two defeat goals from woodruff and brown for the leeds ladies it's a bit of a hiccup for um rick passmore's side who have had a pretty good season this year has to be said um, and you hope that they can just bounce back from that and keep moving forward so fingers crossed that that happens so unlucky to the ladies team and fingers crossed they get a better result next time now right let's get to the main story 49ers and what's going on here so i'm gonna turn off the comments because it's on my screen and it's distracting me i gotta get through this so here we go sorry folks and um, 49ers so Basically, what happened here was the 49ers were extremely involved in the appointment of Garcia. They were said to have flown into Leeds after the process wasn't going the way they wanted it to go. Um, the Athletic have reported that Garcia impressed the 49ers significantly in his analysis of, of Everton game and Southampton games uh, and what Leeds could do to, to fix things. So that was important. Um, contact was made with Garcia after the Everton game. That clears that one up uh, outside of the rumor that, that Roger Zani was speaking to him two weeks ago. He may have talked to him, but there was no initial approach made about the job until after the Everton game. Um, but it said that he very much impressed everybody, significantly impressed the 49ers and everybody else on the board, which led to his appointment. Um, you're starting to see a sign of more and more influence from the 49ers coming into things. We've seen the the winter transfer window influence. You've now seen an influence in the manager situation when they're not happy with the process and how that's going. So that's all positive stuff. And, and it's starting to signify the, the more involvement that's there, the closer this takeover is coming to happen. There was a lot of people in the comments yesterday said that they'd be surprised if this takeover happens at all, and it's not going to happen. Let me reassure you, it is. So let's get into this. The, the Athletic have claimed that intense talks have taken place between Leeds and 49ers Enterprises, and an agreement is in place for a possible deal. The word possible comes in because... The possible part is the fee. That will all depend on where Leeds are at the end of the season. If Leeds are in the Championship, the fee will be renegotiated to a lesser fee. If Leeds are in the, in the Premier League, it's that 400 million fee that's been talked about up until now. Um, there is a clause in the contract that says that the deal must be done before winter next year, which means it looks very, very likely that that deal will go through this summer and at the end of the season. It just depends on where Leeds are in terms of the fee, but the takeover will happen and will go through. In terms of net worth, the York family are estimated to be worth in and around £2 million. You add that to Pete Lowy, who's estimated to be worth 3 to four, five even billion pounds as well. That's a lot of money in there in that pool. To put that in context, Roger Zanning is, is ranked to be in and around net worth-wise three to four hundred million. So it's a significant bump up. It would put Leeds in the top seven uh, owners net worth in the Premier League, which is significant. Just got to make sure we stay in the Premier League, and that's that's the important part there. Uh, and then finally, just to finish up today, um, and to say the, the voice of football, as far as I'm concerned, and, and the bulk of my life growing up was John Motson, and John Motson sadly passed away. So uh, rest in peace to John Motson, a huge, huge part of a lot of my generation's football. I, I associate football with his voice so uh, a sad day for everybody and um you know thoughts and prayers go out to john Watson, his family and relatives and everyone involved with him so rest in peace john um, and thanks for your contribution to football folks that's going to be it for me for today again sorry that we had to do this live stream wise it's just having this thing i and i actually don't even know how the sound is on this the sound could be dreadful i still don't know i've been playing around with it i thought i fixed it so i don't know if it is bad i'll sort it for tomorrow but i'm having lots of issues with my kit recently so um i'll fix it have a great day 
I'll see you tomorrow morning for more Leeds news. Thanks for watching and um, enjoy your day. Bye.